Hello everybody, my name is Jonas van Noff and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create some supporting layers that may help you with your restoration work. This image is copyrighted by Operation Photo Rescue um, and of course this is a restoration so I'm going to show you the process. Let's say I'm about done with this photo here. I've done my very best to restore it and it had worked very good. But now I want to do, go on to the final test and see whether there still are some mistakes that are or some flaws that are left in. And as you can see, as I re enable all the layers, there's quite a difference still because. I just hadn't seen all the things. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you exactly how you can make seeing all those little flaws very easy. So first of all I'm going to delete all those layers I just created. And I'm going to create a new group. I'm going to call that group help because this is just a temporary helping group and we are not going to have it turned on the whole time. I'm going to create a new group within that. Call that one Luminosity and create a new Hue and Saturation layer. I'm going to call that layer Desaturate put the mode to color and slide the saturation slider all the way to negative 100. Next I'm going to create a new curves adjustment layer that I call darken and I just lower the midpoint a little. And immediately you can see all the differences between light and shadows within this image. So if I turn that one on and off You can now exact see exactly all the differences between light and shadow and are not distracted by color anymore. So to fix the differences between light and shadow, we just want to fix the luminosity. So we are going to create a new brightness contrast adjustment layer, call that one luminosity, and put the mode to luminosity. Now we are going to create a new layer name it dodge and burn use previous layer to create a clipping mask and set the mode to soft light and fill it with the soft light neutral color of 50% gray we just clipped it because that way we are just affecting the luminosity of the overall image and not the colors now we're going to use a brush a very soft brush with low opacity I'll use about 20 and we're going to use black to darken areas or white to lighten areas As you can see it's really easy and I'm just going to lighten some areas, darken others. Depending on um, how light they are and how light they should be. For example, right e here under his chin, uh, under his mouth, there's a shadow so I wouldn't lighten it so that it looks like his cheekbone. But um, I had this bump on his forehead that really didn't look any natural to me so I just lightened it and darkened the other areas so it looks more homogeneous.
Okay, I'm just going to call it quits here. Of course, you can do as much or as little as you want to. Um, if you can see any brush strokes still, that happens often if you're uh, just a beginner. Then you might use uh, filter blur, Gaussian blur, on a low radius to blur all the brush strokes and make them less visible. Already we have greatly enhanced the overall image. But as you might see, I don't know if you can see it in the video resolution. This area here has mm, much less saturation than this area here. And so our next step is to unify the overall saturation. For this I'm going to go into my help group again. I'm going to create a new layer. A new group, I meant, sorry. Call that one saturation. And press OK. Now I'm going to create a new selected color adjustment layer. Call that one saturation as well. The method has to be absolute, relative, wouldn't work. Um, now we're going to decrease the blacks in all the colors to negative 100. That means the reds, the yellows, the greens, the cyans, the blues, and the magentas have to go all the way to negative 100, whereas the whites, the neutrals, and the blacks go to black plus 100. That way we just extracted the saturation of the image. Now to make editing a little more easy, we are going to use a levels adjustment layer, call that one lighten. And increase the white point to about 205. Now we are going to fix the saturation by creating a new layer, calling it saturation. The mode should be on saturation and we press OK. That time we don't fill it with anything because there's no neutral color for saturation. We're going to use our brush again. White is our foreground color and a bright red or anything else with a saturation value of 100% as our background color. That way painting with red will increase the saturation in certain areas and as you can see, increasing the saturation goes a lot faster than increasing the luminosity. So we are going to use opacity and flow of about 10%. Now with white, I can lighten the dark areas and therefore saturate the not saturated areas. And with white, I'm going to darken the areas or decrease the saturation of those areas. For example here, I can increase the saturation a little because this was a highlight, there is not so much saturation in here. And here I'm going to increase the saturation a little again. Again you can do as much or as little as you want to. Fixing saturation shift is of course less important than fixing the luminosity but it's an important stage in my opinion. But I'm from a retoucher's background so you don't have to count my opinion. <laughs> okay that fix the saturation. Let's decrease the group. Uh, let's disable the group, I'm sorry. And check the progress. As you can see this area was 
very grey compared to this area. Now with the saturation increased, it looks very much more natural. The next part is to fix the color. For this we are again going to create a new group called color. And we are going to create a new layer inside it. Call that one luminosity. The mode should be luminosity. And we're going to use edit fill 50% gray. This will gain us the ability to extract all the color with this layer. So we can see the image without any luminosity, luminosity changes. Next we're going to use a selective color adjustment layer. Call that one magenta. And as we did with the saturation, we are going to increase the blacks of everything we don't want to see to plus 100. And the blacks of everything we want to see to negative 100. In this case, this is just the magentas. And again, the method has to be absolute. Now, as we can see, there is some dark grays in here, but um, it's hardly visible. So what I'm going to use is a levels adjustment layer once again, called lighten. And I'm going to increase the white point to about 100. Now you can see more clearly where there is magenta and where there is none. So to fix the magentas, I'm going to create a new curves adjustment layer. Call that one green plus, because green is the opposite color of magenta. And we just want to change the hue. And that we're going to use the green channel and push the mid-tones until you can't see any gray anymore. At least not in the areas that you wanted to affect. Okay, I'm going to use my brush again. Oh, and by the way, this one is a very subtle, subtle met method, so Most images would be fine with just saturation and luminosity fixed. Now with white I can just decrease the magentas in, the, in these areas. This method is inspired by Amy Dresser, by the way, because um, she said that she can see all those little differences in color and I was so impressed that I thought, okay, my eyes are not all that good, but 